Okay, so here are some things that I've been working on. So this one is actually the first um, embroidery thingy that I finished. Um, I still need to finish up the hoop, but oh, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna dye uh, the wooden hoop another color because um, I think I will like it better when it's a little bit darker and less yellow. But anyway, this is basically my first try at embroidery. And I do like it, but I think there are a lot of things that I would do differently already if I had to do it again. But yeah, for like my first try, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah. Then I also started this one. I don't really feel like finishing it now because, you know, it's getting warmer and spring is finally starting here. So, um... Yeah, I don't know. I probably will finish it because I don't have to do a lot about it, but yeah, it's still a lot of work, you know? Then I have two beetles. And actually, this is the stuff that I use mostly to get my design on the fabric because you can draw on this and then you can pin it to the fabric. And as you can see, I do like an outline with embroidery thread. You can make this this bit wet and it just disappears which is really handy especially for black fabric i use that especially for black fabrics but also for this one i used it and this one is a little potato beetle um i think i'm gonna continue with this one in a bit but yeah also i've got two bigger hoops um this one is gonna be a tansy. I actually want to find um, an oval embroidery hoop for this one and they do exist but they are kind of expensive so yeah I'm just gonna use this bigger one for now. Also I started this little Luna moth which I am kind of scared to continue with because yeah I don't really know like what colors to use because embroidery isn't really like painting where you can mix up your colors like you really have to be careful with picking your colors so i actually made a little sketch on my ipad um and i think i'm just gonna do some sketches with that one and then yeah i'll see what i do with this one but yeah i'm really excited to finish this one even though i feel a bit scared <laughs> um but yeah those are the things i'm working on as for right now um yeah, I literally just started embroidering a few months back, but I am literally obsessed. Like, I love it so much. Also, um, this is where I store all of my embroidery thread. I basically use DMC. And I got most of these secondhand, by the way, because they are kind of expensive. But especially... Um, when you want like many colors as I do <laughs> but um, yeah I store these in like this vintage um, sewing box I just have like cool colors and warmer colors as for now but I really need a better way to like organize these but I guess like for now it does work kind of <laughs> hesitant if I wanted to do voiceover for this part of the video because I kind of like the way it looks and sounds 
without like any music or voiceover or whatsoever so yeah anyway I decided to still do one um, but I think I'm going to make a kind of embroider with me video soon where I'm just gonna embroider like real time and not put any background music or voiceover on top so if you would like to see that then please let me know because yeah I would love to hear it's always nice to hear that people actually like my video ideas because yeah just because but anyway I actually finished my first embroidery last week which is honestly like so exciting for me because I've been wanting to do embroidery for literally ages. Um, I think I bought like really cheap embroidery thread um, from eBay when I was like 12 or 13, but I've never used it. Um, but yeah, I never really took the time to like teach myself, I guess. I'm just so happy that I finally did and that I don't now allow myself to take the time to do this. Um, yeah. So what you're seeing right now is basically me filling in the shield of the beetle and I'm only using two shades of yellow for the yellow bit, a pale yellow which I use mostly and then I'm using a darker tone to create shadows. I might add in some like mint greens and stuff and maybe some blues but yeah I'm not sure I don't really plan these embroideries um, I don't plan my paintings either I just go along with what I'm doing basically and I never really know what I'm doing but yeah I just make it up as I go and the same goes for my embroideries and embroidery is a lot slower than painting like obviously so I don't really have much trouble with like not planning them out too much. I mean, I do the outlines, which is a lot of planning, I guess, but like the way I'm filling them in, I just go along with what feels good to me, I guess. And if I don't like the way something looks, then I just take it out, which, you know, you can do easily. Also, for the black stripes, I am mainly using a really dark blue and I'm just doing the same stitch that I am doing with the yellow. I think they are just like short stitches. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm basically filling in the stripes with a really dark blue and then the tiny caps that are not filled in yet, I fill in with black. So um, they are still like black but they do have a bit of a, a blue tone to them, which I do really like, so yeah. So it is the next day and as you can see I finished the yellow part mostly. I didn't film everything because honestly it just takes so long and yeah <laughs> I decided to just you know work through and yeah show you the next step. So as you can maybe tell I started with darker yellow and I'm just kind of blending it in with the lighter shade of yellow so yeah that's basically what I'm doing um, I'm still not sure if I'm going to put some other colors in it but I kind of like how plain it looks 
so yeah I might leave it like this I do think the yellow does make a difference and yeah I really like the way it looks so yeah So I think I'm going to stop talking now because I don't really have anything else to say about this embroidery. Also if you are wondering what the white lines are, it's basically the sketch of the little legs so I still have to sort of do the outline for that part with brown or black. I'm not really sure about the black on the green fabric because I feel like it kind of blends in and you cannot really see it too well but I have to see as I said I think I'm going to stop talking now I think I'm gonna spend some time in my garden to just read for a bit because I have been embroidering all day today and yeah I just need a little bit of a break so yeah the weather is actually really nice and I do have a garden which is a blessing with the whole self isolating kind of thing so yeah I'm lucky um, so I think I'm just gonna spend some time in my garden and do some reading while drinking some iced coffee and I will see you in my next video also please leave a comment and give it a like if you liked it if you like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do also if you are still watching then like whoa I always feel like people like watch only like 30 seconds of my video and then they're like never mind so if you are still watching then I want to hug you but like from a distance yeah <laughs> okay bye